Homecoming week was a success at Olathe North. I'm Cole. And I'm Mason. We discuss all of this and more on Eagle Sports News. Homecoming week concluded with a game against Shawnee Mission South. Billy and I had a chance to preview it with a former alum and also talk to students who are planning on attending. Arguably the biggest game of the year is the homecoming game. This year, our homecoming game is against the Shawnee Mission South Raiders. Football game the Friday night before homecoming? Yes, I am. What are you, uh, what are you excited for about that? I'm excited to go see my brother. You guys plan on going to the homecoming football game? Yeah. Yes. Well, how do you get hired? Well, you know, we start off with those cheers and, and it just goes uphill or down. Okay, okay. Uh, do you plan on going to the homecoming football game this year? Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you think is different about your homecoming football game than the normal ones? It's way more hyped. Do you plan on going to the homecoming football game? Yes. What's your favorite part about the football game? Probably like the stands and the people. What can you think of? Because I'm assuming you've been to some homecoming football games uh -huh. in the past few years. But when you were in high school, what was different? You know, the way the thing that they that they do it now is is much different than what we did at South. The only thing that's different is that we only had seniors that were up for homecoming court instead of freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Uh, the one main difference was that when I was in high school, we would sometimes be playing our homecoming game against Olathe North at which Darren Sproles would be running countless, countless yards, countless touchdowns. Point at which we were pretty much there just to watch him play. And then uh, it's pretty much it. I would assume that we would win. But, I mean, Olathe North would win, but yeah. we'll see. Olathe North has tons of school spirit, and it definitely showed when all the kids went to the game. 14 behind a very explosive offense and stellar defense. Matt Wright was 10 and 12 with five touchdowns. Isaiah Simmons also had three touchdowns. Caleb Underwood caught a long touchdown in the first quarter, as well as Vinny Chavez was solid as every as avenging nearly 12 yards a carry. The defense played lights out with the only touchdowns coming on a kickoff and on the last play of the game. The Raiders totaled hardly any yards and only two first downs. The Eagles are back at Odak this Friday to face Leavenworth. Football is not the only sport during the fall, as the girls' tennis team is working very hard and off to a great start. The JV team is young but gaining valuable match experience. They are made up mostly freshmen and sophomores. Three seniors have come out for this the first time and are providing some strong leadership. So JV players include Garena T. Natalie C, Maddie P, Tyjen J, Kelsey G, Alyssa C, Tegan W, Olivia A, Gina Wilkes, Maggie S, Grace K. Varsity Tennis is also having a great season as well. They are gearing up for Sunflower League and Regional <coughs> Tennis in the next two weeks. They are a bit inexperienced, but depending on leadership from three double team of seniors, Kelly Franklin and sophomore Grace Gerber. Newcomer Janelle Dean has strong skills and they are looking forward and seeing how good she does in her first league tournament. Olathe North is known for a lot of things. One of those things is the great cross country meet. Cross country is all about the running. They run for effort, passion, and their own satisfaction. Our coaches have a lot of experience with coaching cross country. Swift coached soccer and now coaches cross country. My favorite thing about cross country is uh, it attracts really great kids with good attitudes. Um, I think it's one of the hardest sports to do just because uh, all we do is run and you know other sports they run for punishment or they run to get sh in shape but that's all we do is run for the entire three hours of cross-country practice. Ms. Dyke has coached cheerleading uh, track and now she also coaches cross she coaches cross country. I love coaching cross country. It's my favorite thing ever. I also coach track. I have been coaching track for four years. To create the course, it usually takes a full day, if not two. Oh well, a cross country course, usually, you know, we're having to put it in a city park or on a golf course or something like that. So 
you kind of have to pay attention to how are you going to get a 3.1 mile long race course packed into an area that's obviously not three miles long or three miles wide. Uh, I don't design the course, but I help get it set up and marked. Of course, for cross country. Well, since we always go to the same park, we always use the same course design. But it takes us a whole day to go out and mow the course, and then we have to mark it with direction lines so that... Really? Yes, we have to go out every time that we host a meet, we have to go out and get it all set up. The runners don't have to think about where they're going, they can just concentrate on running. So. Right. You have to have lots of direction arrows, you have to have lots of ropes and flags so that they know where to make turns and know where the course is. Um, we only have one home course and then we run at other courses. So we go to other other places. So a lot of times we'll run like at Rim Rock, which is a KU's course, and it's, um, it's a really fun course to run. It's a really beautiful course. So you have to figure out, you know, where it's going to cross over itself, you know, what kind of uh, hills or creeks or anything like that that you have to avoid or uh, but but mostly it's uh, figuring out how to get the whole course packed into a small area without it being too confusing. This is Mason for ESPN Eagle Sports News and I'm out. So Cole, how about that game on Friday? Well I thought it was a, a pretty dominant game by the Eagles. Oh yeah, we just smashed. Yeah, it was a, I mean, they started off, it was a little interesting when they ran the kickoff back for a touchdown on the first play, on their first, on the first kickoff that we had, but I mean the defense played really well and it was Pretty, it was pretty cool to see some of the JV got in at the end, and you know that's that's what it's worth. Um, so hopefully they can continue it. They got yeah. a pretty easy schedule coming up these next few weeks, so if they can take care of business, head into regionals, who knows what can happen. All right. This is Eagle Sports News. I'm Mason, and I'm Cole. Have a good day.